I am continuing my session today on the armor of God. After we have done all we can do, we must stand, the Word of God says. We need to be strong in the Lord. The stand in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 speaks about the end of the conflict. And we know there is a conflict going on today. And verse 14 says, Stand therefore, hold your ground. That's what we need to do when the enemy attacks us today. We need to hold our ground, having tightened the belt of truth about our loins, having put on the breastplate of integrity and of moral restitude and the right standing with God. The breastplate is the first one mentioned in this session of the armor of God. As the belt or girdle has kept the armor in place, truth is the belt as righteousness is the breastplate. We need to be strong in our faith and understand that Jesus is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. In fact, Jesus mentioned at one time in the Bible, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The Roman soldiers wore it to protect their heart, a vital organ or vital part in their body. Righteousness in the Greek means the equity of character or act or justification. Our life should be filled with honesty and integrity. The devil tries to attack us in many ways, and one of the things he can attack us on is if we're not filled with honesty and integrity and our testimony is no good, then the enemy can attack us in such a way that it will completely destroy us. So may God help us to be filled with honesty and integrity and have this breastplate in place, protecting the vital part and the vital organ to our body. When we have this breastplate in place, the enemy can't touch the vital parts of our body. Have strong principles and moral fibers, and God can use you in a mighty way. There are many people today, and even ministers today, that don't have these principles in place, and it has affected their ministry, in many cases destroyed their ministry, and let us be filled with this wonderful principle in our life, having this breastplate of righteousness in place. And may God bless you today, and thank you so much for listening to the program today, and I'll talk to you again real soon.